some cra- uh, stray cats and dogs that got in there that we were eliminating. We were in the process of eliminating. For example, <coughs> for example, w- we said from the start uh, that uh, oh, that it was going to be important uh, for us to be consistent in saying to people, if you can have your, if you want to keep the health insurance you got, you can keep it. That you're not going to have anybody getting in between you and your doctor in your decision making. And I think that some of the provisions that <laughs> got snuck in uh, might have violated that pledge. And so we were, we were in the process of scrubbing this and making sure that it's tight. This is not government run. There will be no new bureaucracies. You can keep the doctors you know and trust. You keep the insurance you have if you like it. Individuals who like the coverage they already have will be able to keep their current plan. This is a very accurate description of this bill. We're going to put in any legislation considered by the House and the Senate the protection of you as an individual to keep the health insurance you have if that's what you want. You like your insurance and your doctors, you keep them. If you like what you have, when our legislation is passed and signed by a president, you will be able to keep it. But despite what some folks may say, we stuck to the promise. If you like your health care plan, you could pretty much, you could pretty much, you could pretty much much, keep it. In fact, we guarantee it. Your employer, it's estimated, would see premiums fall by as much as 3,000%, which means they could give you a By the way, the health care bill is a jobs bill. It will create four million new jobs, several hundred thousand, immediately upon enactment. The new CBO report, which estimates that because of the Affordable Care Act, the equivalent of two million workers will leave their jobs by 2017. The number rises to 2.5 million by 2024. But we have to pass the bill so that you can uh, find out what is in it. What does success look like? Well, I think success looks like uh, at least 7 million people having signed up by the end of March 2014. More than 1 million people visited healthcare.gov before 7 in the morning. So far, the national website, healthcare.gov, has been visited nearly 20 million times. We now have 4 million Americans who have signed up for quality private health insurance through the marketplace exchanges. Four million people have already signed up because of you. That's one million to two million short of the seven million mark that the administration set. First of all, seven million was not the administration. That was a CBO, Congressional Budget Office prediction when the bill was first signed. I'm not quite sure where they even got their number. Well, I think success looks like... uh, at least 7 million people having signed up by the end of March 2014. First of all, 7 million was not the administration, and I'm not quite sure where they even got their numbers. Their numbers all over the board. And so we're, not, we're, not, we're not backing away from a, a number that we didn't put out originally. I think that others uh, noted that 7 million is a fine target, but it, that that will not determine uh, whether the marketplaces function effectively. That bill was dead on several occasions. It was revived in my office. We did a lot of work. And was the bill perfect? Not even close. But if we'd had a little bit of help from my Republican friends, we could change some things. But they have tried to kill this thing 69 times. We don't mind the Republicans joining us. They can go come for the ride, but they got to sit in back. They got to sit in back. They got to sit in back. 
Stop carping about this. Get over it. It's the law. It's a legacy of Barack Obama and always will be. We were, we're in the process of scrubbing this and making sure that it's tight. You're so unbelievable. <laughs>